All right. Everybody, is everybody good to go live? We are good to go live. Well, we better be. Actually, well, shall I read the script? No. Wing it. I'm just going to read the script, man. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead, George. I shortened it. All right. <laughs> you can write the script next week, and you can read it, Bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So welcome to find, of the, to the find of the Day Weekly Throwdown Edition. This is also the late edition because I was late, not because these guys were. Uh, spawned from Audi Club's Find of the Day post series, who created a competition between a panel uh, comprised of car aficionados and myself, your host for the day, George Acorn, and my co-host uh, in this madness is Audi Club's own Bill Cho. Bill Thank Cho, you. everybody. Thank you. Bill Cho. Um, next up, tonight's guests include Dan Gray. First, probably worth noting about Dan, he is currently banned from the Audi Club group. He's a bad, <laughs> bad individual. <laughs> Um, beyond that, he's the builder of the RS4 Swap B7 Avant that we featured in Quattro Magazine a few years ago. Uh, his current projects include uh, a high horsepower RS, RS, RS6, I can't even speak this evening, RS6 Sleeper uh, Avant, a Masano Red uh, B7 RS4. Dan is involved in New York City-based ID Club Rensport Union. Uh, boy, I said that wrong, didn't I? The New York-based ID Club Rensport Union. <laughs> well, I gotta get away from these scripts, and and, and also the crew. I'm saying, man, and, and, and also the crew's formerly known as of Oktoberfest, which is maybe my favorite event of the year. Um, next up, Ryan Compton. Everybody, Ryan. He's vice president of Audi Club, track rat, design nerd, trademark and copyright attorney. Uh, do we have any issues with this, the name of our show, Ryan? <laughs> uh, Please, you're on mute, Ryan. And, and he's a sucker simultaneously supporting too many and not enough cars, cats, and guitars. Next up, Tim Enders. Tim is uh, ex-Fortitude and BW Vortex staffer. There's an underlying theme there. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're a tight fam. I don't know what's uh, about. <laughs> Current Quattro Magazine contributor, another theme. Uh, motorcyclist, Ducati owner, I believe. Yes. Endurance racing nerd, uh, and uh, Alan McNish, shout out, by the way. <laughs> and, and a, and a, I, I didn't put that in there, though. No, no, that was on me. <laughs> and, and a collector of obscure historical and technical facts about Audi. Little known fact. Anyway, uh, each, <laughs> each of us has painstakingly searched the internet ahead of time in an effort to find three of the coolest Audi or Audi-derived vehicles available on the market and uh, applicable to three different pre-selected categories. We'll present them one at a time in round robin fashion, and the panel will scrutinize, praise, jeer, you know the drill. Once complete, we'll each vote for the best submission in each category, and then a final winner at the end. We'll be broadcasting real time on Facebook Live, uh, so if viewers want to weigh in, by all means, please do. Uh, the winner of our panel vote will enjoy bragging rights for the next week, because you're a badass. Uh, one last thing. Got to say this, the programming is brought to you by Audi Club North America. Audi Club has been a supporter and driver of the Audi enthusiast community for decades with events ranging from driving schools to social gatherings all across the country. It also publishes Quattro Magazine for enthusiasts four times a year. It's a great magazine. You really got to subscribe. You can subscribe by joining Audi Club. Uh, if you consider yourself an Audi aficionado, then join the club. Literally, head on over to www.audiclubna.org and click on the join tab. We'd love to have you be part of it with us. Uh, with that, let's get started. That was still too long, Bill. We're gonna have to shorten that even more. That's your I'm just job. Gonna say, I'm just gonna say, hi, hi y'all. That's your job for next week. And I'm also gonna put my mic in shot so I look official. Well, earlier I had my spittle guard away. There we go. Oh, you took okay. your guard off? No, yes, no guards, then. everybody. We are free of, oh, you still have it. I thought we were gonna be in the nude tonight. Audio wise. Can we just have a discussion about acceptable topic for this? <laughs> All right. Okay, so we are our uh, our three categories this week as a we're gonna start with the beta bargain, which is five thousand or under. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to our obtainable or daily driver, which somebody was complaining about the the price limit, uh, which is fifty grand. They were saying that was too low. Uh, and then oh. the third category is our dream slash halo car where there is no price uh, restriction. So we chose earlier who's going to show up first. And of course, Ryan showed up first. Uh, and he, he's going first, not, not because he's the VP of the, of the board and you know, technically our boss, uh, but he, he showed up first. And then Tim's going to go, and then Dan's going to go, 
uh, and then I am uh, going to go, and then George, since he was a bad boy and shut up late, uh, is going to go <laughs> last. So, Ryan, take All it right. away. Better up here. Share the screen. So you remember to uh, describe what uh, what it is and yep. how much. <laughs> on it. Um, okay, so here we go. So first of all, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> this one, Who's the this attorney? one, I'm I'm making George buy uh, because it's like a foot from you guys, and it's twenty eight hundred bucks. But that's not my choice, uh, <laughs> dude. Uh, that's a great choice. <laughs> it is a great no, choice. But you know what? I, I will say the the this one has a special place in my heart because the two point seven T A six was the first Audi I cared about. It was the first one I drove, and I. Blasted down 95, every toll booth Wait. was its own new race. Uh, quick, and, quick question, uh, did he just show two cars? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna show a third one here because this is my real choice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> wasn't, the, yeah. wait, wasn't the rule we you don't bomb with multiple cars? That's the you Jamie Orr rule. Well, we have the Jamie so the rule, rule is this. Jamie Orr talked for 12 minutes about each one of them. I'm talking for <laughs> <two> <laughs> Anyway. Uh, okay, right. Okay, okay, sir. I like to burn cash. 4,500 euro that comes in under your 5,000. Well, did you, is that according to today's? I don't yeah, know. yeah. What's the current exchange rate? Yeah. <laughs> it was yesterday's. Okay. <laughs> but I love this guy. I love the color. I love that it has. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at those seats. Those are so okay, flat. So, so this is, flat. what year, what year is this? A 19. Should have written that down somewhere. Yeah. Um, I guess well, this is a. It's going to be like late but, '60s, I believe. Whoa! Yeah, well, Carpet doesn't match the drapes. Did you see the uh, steering wheel? Is amazing. <laughs> the, the steering wheel, which is color matched, is not I, color I, I matched. I I <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's five, you know. Uh, but I do love the blue, which also pretty much means it probably was not an orange car original. Uh, <laughs> it would look good in the original color, though. Would that would that qualify as golf livery? The, 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 the orange, <laughs> why not? Orange over blue, though. I'm into it. Uh, I mean, it's. As, I mean, if the VIN plate's blue too, that definitely. You know it. You know it just uh, must sound ridiculous and drive so slow. I'm into it. It's got it. Uh, what is it? At thirty horsepower. You know if what? That, I mean, my research, you guys. One point eight T swap <laughs> is. Uh, I know. So I know how how much was this? This is forty five hundred euro. Eighty. It, it's forty eight hundred U.S. dollars. I just looked. It's 97,000 kilometers, which is about 60,000 miles. I'm going to guess at least 10 of them were being pushed rather than <laughs> driving under its own power. I, I'd, also, I'd also wager that it would cost more to get it here than the car is currently worth. Yeah. And it probably wouldn't, it probably <laughs> wouldn't make the trip, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> the body and the chassis might come in two parts. Oh, I, I have a feeling, yes. That, that is quite the beater there That's... for under five grand. <laughs> You know it's importable and uh, and oh, you're, yeah. not, you're not going to see a lot of them there at the at the car show with you. So I love it. I love it. That is an interesting choice, there, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm with you, Ryan. It's really obscure, really old. I dig it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, he, of course you dig it. So. <laughs> All right. So what's uh, which means you know Tim? Tim is you no. Know, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I'm sorry that that's not getting my vote, vote just around. I'm sorry, Ryan, but uh, that that's it. Okay, Tim. I'm what up. is your five thousand dollar under beater or daily driver? All right, I will preface this by saying that, like, of the three categories, I actually had by far the most difficult time <laughs> finding the five thousand dollar one, just because it's hard to find like a really interesting car that's not a total crap box. <laughs> yeah, but this is something that you would drive for five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Bill? No, no. Um, so, <laughs> My choice ended up being Ooh, Amulet Red. 2001 Amulet Red TT Quattro. It's a 180, but I found this on my local Craigslist, actually. So it's down in Virginia, but it's not that far. Um, I had wanted a TT, like, you know, it, that was the car when they came out. I had a buddy that worked in an Audi shop and getting to see these things in person, like, other than like Ronin and stuff, like that was the car that really got me into Audi in the early two, because what was 2000 the first year? 
for those or was it earlier i don't remember 99 uh, I, don't know. I think around 2000 yeah. um but the early ones without the spoiler and with the yeah. early lawsuit suspension um and I, I passed on my chance to buy a 225 roadster that it turned out like was an apr stage three car that ngp had built and some guy t traded it in at my local dealer and i still regret that so i always wanted to tt that's a nice looking you know it's a decent looking amulet red um yeah. it's a little bit rough in a couple of spots the paint but there's nothing about it that you couldn't put right like and fairly it's, easily it's pretty factory hundred and twenty six thousand miles not a lot of miles on it yeah and the uh the interior is nice like the seat bolsters aren't wrecked yeah. you know the, the, like all the important well, parts. I, I think it's one of the cleaner ones I've seen. Yeah, and it's a stick. And it's a yeah. quarto. Did it you is see a quarto. <laughs> it, is, it is a quarto. Um, so I think for my, you know, under five grand, and it's got decent tires on it. They're in good shape. Those are uh, Continental DWSs. Um, so yeah, I think for my my under five grand, I've always wanted a TT, and uh, the guy has the window sticker. You know, like he's obviously taken pretty good care of it so whoa those so, things were 36 grand in 2001 can you can you pull up yeah can you pull up a photo of just the car i neglected to do a screenshot and, and we're gonna have yep and we're gonna have to have ryan re-show his too but hold oh, which, which one uh whichever one he's presenting i think it's the, <laughs> the golf livery audi 80 so yeah i mean for for my five grand it's not a super rare super special car but it's one that's special to me and I've always wanted. And like, that's a pretty decent one. It's a solid choice. So, so side, side note, my, my sister actually had a Mark one TT. Dude, what car did your sister not have? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Right. Yeah. Like, like for those of you who don't know, Bill's sister has fantastic taste in automobiles. All stick. Every time he tells us about whatever she just bought, we're all jealous. Yeah. Ah. So, yeah. Yeah. She's my sister. <laughs> Here's you think that makes me feel. <laughs> Jealous? I'm gonna go with. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you know, she was always the smart one. So, um. so other, other thing about TT 180, though, jump back to that is the thing about the 180 versus the 225. One is very tunable, and two, you have less plumbing for the intercoolers, so uh, it's actually a little bit torquier. If you keep it stock. If you keep it stock. If you keep it stock. Yeah, I would have. Ah. It right. never happens. But I, I spent many hours browsing the Stratmosphere catalog back in the day, looking at parts for those. Stratmosphere. <laughs> There's a Stratmosphere armrest in that car right there. <laughs> the one, the Roadster that I passed on had one. Like literally, the guy had gone through that catalog and thrown like everything in it at this car. Uh, There's all. Was, like, was Stratmosphere like the, had the blue um, Samco hoses, you know, in the engine bay? And the, that's great. Is that our, the auto zone of Audi TTs? Blue leather interior, which I hated on those things. So, anyways. That's All right. my $5,000 car. Before we move to next car, Ryan, can you throw up the uh, share your screen with the orange 80? Yeah, but first I'm, I'm going to I'm going to Oh give no. Him, <laughs> <laughs> give him another one. Uh, really you're Jeez. not supposed Canada. to flood. <laughs> Very in Canada for 7 7,000 Canadian, which is like $3 American which right now. Which is and it's got the 3.2 front already on it. It's a 225. It's got the 32 wing too. It's a little rough. Yeah, yeah but it looks like. But that's in, like, okay, all right. Like, enough, on, e enough. What Mark one TTs? Nobody look. Hold on. Wait, is that your? Don't look, look up at the top, you bastards. He's got a chart going. Damn. Shut the hell up. No, no, no. <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh no! Look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Is that your sixty? Your eighty? Hold on. Yeah. Was that the orange eighty? No. Yeah, it just said it's gone. Hold on. Oh, the orange eighty was gone. Somebody bought it already. This show really has a lot of reach. Honestly, people watching I, now. Are I you hearing me, sponsors? Did you see that? We just moved a car in like three minutes. I literally clicked on that at the beginning of this show, and it's gone now. All right, we'll have to pull a screen capture off the. Yeah, I'll come. I'll find it again. Later. It's not like you oh, had any hey. backups. <laughs> That's why he's got all the backups. All right. All right. All right, we're going to head on over to Mr. Gray. Uh, which one would you like to show? So I'll preface this with uh, my original pick was a uh, Audi 90 Cabriolet. Was uh, the Euro $2, one? $2,000. Oh. Uh, and um, 
it disappeared yesterday. Uh, so somebody bought it pretty quick. Um, Words. So I think they're kind of cool. They're boxy and odd. They're they're not. They don't have a great powertrain, but they're kind of cool looking, and you can pick them up for just pennies in the dollar. Um, so, but no, what I ended up with, if you click on the uh, the first link, the, the it's a, I found an AAL, uh, the the top one. This one. Yeah. So, the, I just think these things are like. I mean, you know, this one it needs a little bit of TLC. If you see the window sticker there, it's four nine nine five. Nice. It's found it on Craigslist. You know, the, these cars. I was just looking it up. They were they were sixty seven thousand dollars, uh, new in two thousand. So that's you know a good bit, good bit more now. Um, and you can pick them up for four or five grand. Uh, yeah, and, and or as low as forty nine dollars a week. <laughs> These are cars that CEOs were driven around in um, in 2000. You know what I mean? So I just think it's a good value. Uh, now, uh, of course, I won't I won't speak to keeping the thing running. I'm sure it's not cheap. Um, although it's got the belt it's driven four two, but it's a belt driven four two. You know, it really shouldn't be a big deal. Um, you know, I, I think I think these cars. The big problem is the 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 uh, you know comfort. I think comfort and convenient package. Uh, you know, there's like a chipset that controls all that stuff, and uh, I think they get they have problems. But beyond that, I mean, I'm sure it's a great car, comfortable, fast, and you know, I mean, it's just uh, compared to what it went for uh, new, you're getting a hell of a lot of car for the money. Uh, Is that go go back to your picture? Is that Ted taking those photos? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you trying yeah. to kiss his butt so you can get back into the group? I don't because... know who that is, but that is fun. <laughs> no, he, 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 he is retired, so today so, was, I think, his first, his first anniversary of uh, being retired. And, and I also love the idea of, of, of uh, putting nitrous in it just for a little Ronin. Uh, oh, yeah. But look at this. It's a Kodak. He's using actually a Kodak camera. Bam. So uh, I, I not, posted one other one that's just newer, but I, I wasn't positive if the uh, if the ad was legit. There's a 2006 that's also going for four for four uh, like five thousand um, dollars. Probably just everybody's just you know oh look yeah let's go with that one. one. Let's yeah. go with that one. This is a 2006. Really? Yeah. So so I you know I just wasn't sure if this was real or not just because there's two photos. But Bill, stop uh, going through. Photos so quickly. I need to get screen. You, look, you know, if All you right. look at the, the back there, like you know, but you're still you get you get the idea. You can still pick this thing up, even if this one's not real. You can get these under ten thousand dollars, and and black yeah. and tan like that. It's a hell of a car. That's nice. I'm into it. That's uh, that's that's, a that's my that's my beater sub submission. Yeah. <laughs> Peter submission. <laughs> Okay. All right. It's nitrous uh, added. <laughs> Bad ad nitrous. Dragging yeah. drag car. All right, Ryan, were you able to find a picture of your... No, I'll, we can either grab... Oh, are you trying to get it for the end here? Yeah, so when we vote. Uh, do you mean uh, just... All right, well, I'm, I'm going to go. And then, Ryan, your, your task right now is to find an orange and blue <laughs> Audi 80. <laughs> all right, so where am I? Okay, so this is my choice. I have a... If I can find where the hell I am. Where am I? What's going on here? Oh well, no, no, no not this is not oh, my choice. That looks just like Dan's. <laughs> you guys are on the same. Hang on, hang I, on. I knew you'd rip me off. Hang on. <laughs> no, no. Well, we I discovered earlier that Dan, when he sent me his uh, uh, his choices, uh, he actually sent one <laughs> that I had chosen, so I had to quickly choose another one. But this is mine. Yeah, we, we uh, so a, a beater uh, under five grand or five grand or under. Uh, and I don't think you can go wrong with this one. This is our second 4.2 of the day. Now, why do you want to show up? There we go. Ooh, oh, color matched. Look at that. Color matched also. All right. Mm -hmm. So you want you want to you want to take a screenshot of this, Jordan? I got it. All right. So what we have here, it's a 2005 4.2 all-road, uh, $4,500. Okay. Uh, how many miles does it have on it? I didn't check on it. <laughs> 158. Okay. So it's a 4.2 with 158,000 miles on it. But what I like about this, uh, the flares. That's a, one of the color match cars. Car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a rare package. Look at this. Yeah, it, not here. It, it, it did a set of bumpers on that that were color matched to get rid of the, the textured plastic ones. 
They was, always had that black portion that, for the color match cars. That's that's how they came from the factory. No, I I know. I was just saying, like you could do a a replacement bumper that was all color matched. Now, yeah. now in this one, that's okay. So that's the four point two that came in the S four. That's that's the chain driven. That's no bueno. So so the the question yeah. there would be, uh, you know, had the chains ever been done, and if they haven't been, yeah, that's forty five hundred dollars. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, <laughs> Bill, across I, the vehicle. I hate to say it, but it's also a no stick, no care, Bill. So no stick, no stick. No care. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> if no, you're man, look, look at they vacuumed that back. That's Such you no. Know, <laughs> that's an impressive that, vacuum job. Like if, yeah. if if I actually bought this car, I would never put anything back there, uh, just so I can keep the pattern going on. <laughs> That's wild. No, that's a cool car. I love it. Is that two-tone uh, leather there? I don't think it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it Maybe. is. It's, it, well, yeah. it's, uh, it's kind of dirty, but it is okay. two-toned. Again, under five grand. I mean, there's no They're all going to be a little crunchy. But no stick, no care. Mm. <laughs> I, I, that, that's a nice, that's a well, great option. Sometimes. Obviously, I love the wagon. And it's a 4.2, right? Which I would never won't buy, George. Put an exhaust on that thing. It'll sound great. I feel like we talk about you buying a 4.2 all the time, though. Yeah, because are, George still wants RS4? me to buy that. That Yeah, he still wants that me RS4. to buy that RS4. Dude, you have to buy that RS4. I think it no, sounds like, I think it sounded nine grand today, Bill. Nine, <laughs> nine, okay. Nine grand. <laughs> oh, okay, sir. All right. So that would be my choice for my beater of 5,000 or under. 158,000 mile, 400, what, $4,500 uh, 2005? All right. Choice, great choice. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. George, would you like a quick picture for your thing? Yeah, sure, let's do this. There you go. Take it quick. Wait, but that's not it. <laughs> no that's oh, like yeah. a that's like a b1 you, you no, were like I know, a, I, I know i said 68 but i can't find any 68s anyway it doesn't matter why don't, i'll just i'll 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 find something don't worry about it <laughs> just let me go let me take my first turn and then i'll make up for yeah, you can photoshop the blue uh yeah, the, the blue dash <laughs> you could do that while while the other four of us are presenting all right so, so i'm playing to one of the p panel here Oh, Mark One TT. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars in Boise, Idaho. Oh, forget that. <laughs> what? It's you don't like Idaho? Dick. I, no, I like. I love their potatoes. It, is that a two eight or a one eight T though? It's a one eight T. Quattro. Manual. Cactus green. Was that the color? I think so. No, I don't. Eh. Uh, I like feel like it's too, it's too emeraldy. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Emeraldy. I don't, I'm afraid to refresh this because if this car isn't sold as a result of this show, I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Go ahead, take a screenshot of it real quick. Uh, does anybody out there know what color this is? This is a. I think it's cactus. 1999. I, cactus is darker. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's darker and more like tanny or browny. Ish. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I see. That, that was a pretty good description. Damn, I'm, I'm <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so no real interior shots, which is other than that, which, which that part looks great, but no real shots of the seat. I was going to say, right there, it looks clean as heck. Yeah, it does for 216,000 miles. Aftermarket head unit in there, but that's not. Was horrible. it? Go back to that. Yeah. You know what you need there is like a Porsche Classic single din, which would be about as much as the car will cost you. <laughs> yeah, but well, but more people need to make those because that that is a really cool, like accessory. You know, like it, it, yeah, it needs to be more that are period matched. But if you knew somebody stuff. at Audi Accessories, right? That we could <laughs> Barber, that. who could think about something like that. that but might, like, it maybe it is cactus. It might be a cactus green car. I just looked up the uh, the color options available for the for that car. And cactus was an option. Cactus is the only one that looks right. There's a Jaspis screen, metallic, but it doesn't look right. Um, hmm. It might be cactus. Thank you. I'm telling Which you, man, that's super cool. That's a solid car for two thousand dollars, less than half of what you guys are looking for for your cars. That's a very good, very good find. All right, that, that is exactly a good find. It. I'm gonna stop. I'm jealous, my I'm and and it's a stick. 
And it's manual, right. And yep. Nice choice, George. So we are at, at the end of <laughs> round one, our $5,000 beater, or uh, 5000 or under beater. So we need to vote on who won this round. Give me a second to grab a picture. I think we need to disqualify Ryan because he cannot find his card. I mean, honestly, that that's, <laughs> the fact that it's no longer for sale does kind of violate the rule. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> or we give you, or, or we give you double the points because you just, actually sold the car on. Just on take our. the, just take the A six. It's fine. We'll just, no one cares. But. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll have a picture that's a standing picture that's not the actual car. Okay. Fine. All right. Pulling these or up here. Give me a second. And of course, it doesn't open in the same window. You need a production yeah. assistant here. I do need a production assistant. Why this wouldn't open in? So we're going to have to show your picture first, and then we'll have to share it to the other one. Uh, Hurley, he's on now. All right. First up, Audi 60. <laughs> <laughs> Winner, or 80, rather. Close. <laughs> Jesus. Similar. <laughs> yeah, those are totally the same thing. Oh, my God. My, my hair is just like hers. <laughs> All right. I got the quarantine hair going. We showing them serially? Is that what's happening? Yeah, no, I'm going to show you the rest because uh, they wouldn't open up in the same. Sometimes photos are like difficult. And um, <laughs> part of the night. That one with a girl was difficult. So uh, next up is the TT. Next up, A8. Next up, All Road. And next up, B5. Okay. So who votes for the Ryan's Audi 80? Dang. Okay. Uh, red TT. You can Anybody? vote for yourself. You can vote for your own. That's fine. Yeah, but what's the point? Okay. <laughs> A8. Anybody? We got one for A8. I'll do that. It's going to be two, a money pit, but two for A8. All right. All road. Anybody? Yes. Just wait, what? Just me? Oh, all right. Uh, no, B5. No stick, no care. B5. I'm going B5. I'm Dang. B5. So we got, so all right, now we got to do a revote because. No, it means, it means Bill's got to change his vote. Pick a side. Pick a side, Bill. <laughs> a okay, I'm, I'm going with the, uh, the lady with the white 80. No, but that doesn't, no, 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 no. you got to go with one of the cars that won too. <laughs> oh, you know, oh that's this how works. it works. Okay. When you um, break a tie. Not helping. <laughs> a right. or the green. Man, the A is such a ball of car, though. <laughs> Give ball go it. for it. I don't. I mean, I'm not going to make you feel guilty in any way. It would be kind of crappy that you wouldn't choose mine because we're, <laughs> we're, we're we're like host partners. But I mean, whatever. If you want to vote for the eight, go ahead. No, I can't fit that in my garage, so I go with the Avant because it, because it is a '90s green. Uh, it is a manual, uh, and it's the Never Lose 1.8 T. See, I, I don't know if we saw it. Does it have a tan interior? No, right. it does not. I think it's got the putty. Yeah. The... Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, that's no. It's too grand. Yeah. That right there. Oh, it's too grand, Mr. Stratosphere. Oh, that's right. And it's too, and it's too grand. Stratosphere armrest. It's too grand. You, you could also buy the entire tan interior for it, probably for a grand. So. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. They'll get it on the price. Honestly, less you money than you have to sneak into that A8 like the day you buy it. But, I, you know. <laughs> Yes, I have to go with the Yvonne for that. So nice, nice, nice job, George. Uh, you just happened to win the first round of uh, our weekly throwdown. So let's go to round number two, which was obtainable or daily daily driver, fifty thousand or under. Which you know, I I can't wait to see your drawing because you were not happy with it with the price <laughs> limit on this one here. So, In fairness, I didn't do anything so, like you're supposed to do. It. So take it away. <laughs> Hey Ryan, one entry. No. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I legitimately have to figure out which thing it's on. Yeah, which, which spreadsheet is it on? Hey Bill. Yes. My Safari is acting weird, or not, not my Safari. My Finder is acting weird. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be able to run the the winner to do the voting pictures. So you're gonna have to do screen grabs. Oh wait. Never mind, it fixed itself. 
Okay. Uh, in honor of Jamie Orr, uh, oh, there's a twelve thousand dollar RA <laughs> chassis. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. For you to build up. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you, you just that. sit in your garage and make great car noises. <laughs> But how about this one? Oh wait, 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 wait! No, how about this one? Go back. I was getting a screen grab. No, that's not my submission. Stop I, giving fake submissions. Course. Here is a Bentley Speed Eight replica, full body, sporting, four point two Audi motor in in uh, LMP trim for thirty five thousand. <laughs> Can you do a zoom on the picture so that I can? 35,000 euro. Yeah, hold on. It was terrible picture. That's a hell of a daily driver, I just want to say. <laughs> I can play that thing. Hold on. Here we go. Can you? You can wouldn't you? be able to walk. No, the there's no way. No, you know what, though? Actually, do you think this is, does this bend the rules, given that it's not platable? Yeah. Daily, daily. driver. A little bit of rule bending is okay. All right, fine then. You know what, right? Oh, Jesus <laughs> There you go. See, he set us up. You set us up, man. Uh, it's, this is overseas as well. I love it. You win. Nine ninety five. I love the white. I mean, as long as it's not pearl white, which I don't think they made it back then. They did, and it might they be. They did? Oh, <laughs> they did. God. I'm going to have to take my boat away. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry, Ray. Like I know, I know yours is poor, right? So. I will say it's one hundred fifty thousand like miles. One hundred sixty-three. If it's clean, though, no. right hand drive, no. pearl ascent white, uh, but right hand drive, nineteen eighty-six. Very nice. Importable, thirty-nine nine ninety-five. Reasonably priced for well, what's the exchange? That's like forty-seven eighty. Yeah, that's that's yeah. reasonably that's, priced. Uh, all right. I don't think I'm um, coordinated enough to drive a right-hand drive car. It might, you know. You'd be the co coolest guy at H2O, though, with a right-hand drive or Quattro. <laughs> yeah, I know. It kind of I won't mixes, be able to drive it. <laughs> it. It kind of mixes my two interests, to be honest. <laughs> We're a Japanese. <laughs> but, uh, I'd have to go do drive throughs backwards. You could get the little mirrors to mount on the, the fenders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Car is really weird. What's that? Making a right turn in the U.S. in a right-hand drive car just feels really weird. Yeah, it's terrifying. It's, no, I'd, be yeah, I'd be taking on pedestrians. You can enjoy that. You can enjoy that action in St. Thomas, where you have left-hand drive cars driving right-hand drive roads. That's fun. right. Because <laughs> did they like all of a sudden like one night just they just switch over? Yeah, that's right. Um, anyway, there you go. I'm out. Nice job. Nice job, Mr. Compton, of, you know, three cars again. But you made it up with that last one there. All right. So I'm going to preface this entry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> by saying it might bend the rules, but only a tiny bit. And it's worth it. So my choice, whoops, I got to get back in the right place to share my screen. And my choice for the under $50,000 category is this 1996 Nogaro Blue S6 Plus. All right, so at so, RM Sotheby's, no less. At Sotheby's, <laughs> yes. So the S6 Plus was the first full production product project that Quattro Gambaja did back in the day. They'd worked on other things before, but this is their first. Uh, was their first full car, um, and these had a an enhanced version of the 4.2 V8 that made 322 horsepower, I think. Um, they made 97 sedans. This one was given by Audi Germany to a newspaper in Madrid, uh, basically to pay for advertising, apparently, and then got sold to a, me a member of the Spanish nobility, who in the early 2000s had the engine totally rebuilt by Quattro. Um, so it should be, it, it's a little dirty in some of the pictures, but it should be in pretty nice shape. It's got like the blue gates and the, I mean, that's legit it is, but it's by the way if i can just interject to audi of america audi ag whomever if you want to pay us in cars for advertising we're open to that that's totally legit <laughs> yes um yeah so i mean it's it's nogaro and so like i said they made 97 of the sedans and i don't know how many of them were nogaro but it, it can't have been that many and it's got the full-on interior and i just uh 
it's a beautiful car. So, 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 what, not, not yeah. quite in portable, no? What age? No. Is it but, the 96? But here's the thing. If you I bought mean, it right now, like, you know, if I did the Jamie or Orchid Euro import special, I would have to wait probably till sometime next year to bring it over anyways. Because <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> no, it's so it would be perfectly it's legal. Great now. choice. So wait, is it at auction now, or is it? Uh, or what's the what's the price on it? It is at auction, and the expected price is forty to sixty. So if you were smart, <laughs> oh, enough, it's so you're. Legit. I mean, it's not going to bid up in a pandemic. So let's yeah. just say. Okay. Uh, I'll so let it go. No, I, I would totally have that sent to like Cy or somebody, and just have them hold on to it for me for you know six months. Yeah, it's. I mean, amazing choice. A little bandy. It's, it's not a car you'll find in my Amazing choice. Well, well, why not and, everybody? <laughs> and bonus points, though, for looking up RM Sotheby's inventory for an Audi. I think that's pretty creative. Well, for a $50,000 Audi. Any, <laughs> any a-hole can go on Facebook Marketplace like I did and find theirs. So, like, he, Tim's digging deep. That's pretty pretty I, rad. I do what I, I can. can. I do what I can. <laughs> I try. But, that's yeah, great. I always thought the S Plus was cool. Um, you know, it was like in just a, a neat car that was a, a – Kind of a special build so what makes yeah, it for sure. plus it's, it's um, actually so pronounced plus plus so 4.2 okay. 4.2 v8 that was um they did do an s4 and an s6 with a 4.2 as well but there may have been extra horsepower this is the first car that was actually built by quattro game it was their yeah. first i mean other than like they did that rebuild on that um on that one sport quattro this was their first actually yeah. production car it's yeah, got it Sorry, lip, uh, lip, uh, little lip. Uh, if you can zoom in on the quarter panel, uh, the, the front know, bumper the, uh, is different. Yeah, the front bumper is different. It's got. It should have a little lip around the front uh, quarters. They also the came wheels. with a uh, with a six speed transmission instead of a five. Yeah, yeah. are those stock wheels? Yes. 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 Really? To the SN class. And then Maybe. they also. I don't know about this. The, four point two made more power than the regular four point two. And, and then the. It, it, it made it was it was an upgrade from the uh, the two point two T, which is what the URS yes. yep. usually came with. Yeah. Yep. Hey then, Tim, uh, Sai said he's going to charge you for storage. Sai, <laughs> I'm totally okay with that. You know, can it, if he, if you're going to charge him extra, can you at least sit it on the rotator the whole time? Just like <laughs> exactly. <spin? laughs> as long the as blue, you send me pictures and drive it every so often, I'm the blue uh, gauges are amazing on those. Yeah, things. look how clean they are. So the so the Nagi cars got blue gauges. I think the red yep. cars got red gauges and the matching Alcantara. I'm tr yeah, I, I, I'm trying to find parts for the, from those cars to swap into my uh, Levant. It's very, there, very hard to find, as you can imagine. There, what you know, you should call NGP. I think at one time there was a guy in the states who'd imported one, and then he'd imported parts from another one. That yeah, they there, yeah, written off. I don't there know. What is a, somebody just broke, somebody just imported an entire uh, Nagaro interior from one. Yep. Yeah, there was one that went on bring a trailer or maybe German cars for sale or somewhere a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah. there, there's definitely at least one of them here. Yep, yep, I agree. But well, it was, at the time, it was one of those sort of gray market weird imports, and like he had to list the VIN as something else, and you know. Yep. Eh. But really cool. Okay, car. All right, Mr. Bendy. <laughs> well, there you go. Kudos. I, I I do love this vehicle. All right, so we can stop share on that one. And who's up next? That Let's will be Dan. Mr. Gray again. Which oh, one? Sorry, uh, just not sure, I? So I've, I've kind of got uh, okay, like it's sort of a two-parter. But um, it's, so I found I found a really cool car. It's it's probably going to go under the, the price, but it's an auction car, so it's a little bendy. It's in the U.S. though. Um, you can click on just a little show of people at least, so they can see it. It's, it's a cool car. Which one the, is uh, it? The the, the Urquatro, oh, Okay. Um, all right, let me get back here. Let me share a screen. I was wondering with like the Copart auctions, like I found an R8 RWS that was under 50, but it was auction, so. Yeah. Oops, sorry, sorry. Oh, don't I'm look. just screwing this all up. Oh, because <laughs> my the, the, the share button is right over the button. There we go. I'm gonna start Googling right now for. Ooh. So, so this is on Bring a Trailer. It's it's got four days left. I, I mean, I, I'd be shocked if it goes over fifty, but you never know. Um, it's it's not you know it's it's got like the it's 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 been repainted. The paint's not perfect. Um, so I, I doubt this is a top dollar car. 
but it's really cool. It's got a it's got a three B swapped into it, which is out of you know the same motor that's in the two hundred Avant. Um, you know, it's the detuned version that's in the the RS two. Um, Recaro, so nice. good good motor. The interior is nice. It's got great seats in it. Oh, seats are quality. Yeah, um, just a clean looking car. You know, and, it, and it's it's in it's a driver's car. It's a real you know take this thing out and rip it in the snow it's you know you got the the diff control you can oh. you can you can lock the uh the rear diff or you can lock all um the center diff um you know just old school it's, it's the original quattro um just all around really cool car um so so that's you know that that's sort of like a, it's not quite it's a little bendy because it's auction but uh that's sort of my project car take on this. Um, but, you know, I, I took this more as the daily submission. So my, my, my real submission is the, uh, is the other link, the S7. Um, you, you know, this would be sort of my project car submission. So this, this S7, you know, it's a wow. prestige. It's 2017. It's got 30, 39,000 miles on it. I mean, the thing's still under warranty. Um, and these cars are just beautiful. I, you know, I, I think they're all beautiful, but um i actually like the s7 more than the r7 i think it looks uh it's just it's it's not I mean, the r7 can be almost aggressive to the point where it's uh overkill uh this has the bno sound it's just like an optioned out car mm. um you know you, you throw a tune and down pipes in this car and you've got you know 600 horsepower um so and yet, but at the same time you can throw the kids in it you can throw groceries in it you could drive it to work every day nobody would you know think you're ridiculous or whatever so Good daily, uh, but also fun as hell if you want it to be. So wow, this is this is nice, and it's forty eight thousand dollars. Forty eight grand, yeah, and you know you could probably talk them down right now a few grand if you wanted to. <laughs> forty thousand miles, nice specimen. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's, forty thousand miles, damn. That's that's my daily submission. That is a nice submission. I'm legitimately surprised that there's one of those out there that's that cheap. Yeah, that's that nice. Super clean. Yeah. Someone run a Carfax. <laughs> yeah. Is there a Carfax on here? Let's see. Uh, get an yeah, offer one. Nope, free Carfax. One owner. Wow. <laughs> Full service here, people. No accidents, no damage. Yeah, pretty solid get right there. Nice so. find. Was it? Yeah. This, one, this is one of the cars I looked at that I was like, oh, "Wait, that's actually really nice." <laughs> and it's not too far away from you either. It's in Connecticut. Yeah, it's a problem. There ought to be. <laughs> there ought to be a name. We ought to have a name for like when you find a car that's kind of like got you on the edge, kind of like last week with Johnny in that RS4, like, kind of, or Jamie with that odd front wheel drive 80 Avant. Like, if you're gonna buy it, right? Yeah. Exactly. We should have we should have blurred out like the the dealer's name and the phone number. <laughs> and my wife would kill me. Well, maybe some you know happy club member will uh, will take home a new S seven. Maybe I'll trade the Q seven. Yeah, she'd definitely kill me if I trade traded the Q seven in towards this. Yeah, don't do that. That would you know they're very pra <laughs> they're very practical. They've got a hatchback. It's just like an SUV. It's just like yeah, exactly. Nearly the same. It's a dog. Thing. Will fit in the back, right? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> You just took okay, so like this a little bit. Just, uh, what 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 kind of dog do you have, Dan? Uh, he's a seventy-five pound boxer lab mix. So. Yeah, yeah, he'll fit back there, no problem. <laughs> no problem. So nice, nice choice. Um, so mine, mine is not. Uh, the the price on it is not quite up to forty. All right, not even. Well, it's not even twenty. But. And this is a car that, that some of y'all may have seen before that I shared. Um, and when I showed it to my wife, she said, no. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll show you why. Is it an RS4? It's an Amola Yellow B8 S4. There's nothing it's, wrong with that. It's Emola. an Amola no. Yellow. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Amola Yellow. It's an Amola Yellow. <laughs> There's nothing B8 wrong S4. with that. No, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Was Not it at all? Is, is it that it wasn't yellow enough? Was that her problem with it? <laughs> Clearly, the mirror yeah. the body match. Okay, but I, I found another ad for it from the actual dealer. So let me scoot back over there. Um, because these, 
for some reason I don't want these uh these as much. Hang on. So oh. So you all seen this. Look at that. It's twenty thousand dollars. It's got forty one thousand miles on it. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on, on this one for a while, but as soon as my wife said no, <laughs> I decided I was gonna share it for mine. So I'm it's I for one am shocked. Down, <laughs> down from twenty four thousand dollars. How could Pam say no to that? What a deal. It's yellow. <laughs> Which is her so, favorite color, I hear. So it's not a Nagara blue. Uh, uh, as uh, what would you have? An SX Plus? SX or Plus? You know. Plus. But it is an Amoli yellow one, and you know it's a B8, right? I love B8s. I love uh, the B8 that you had, George. Was, was really fun to drive. It is. It is uh, not stick, uh, mm. because I, I'm looking for a vehicle that my wife will drive. She can drive stick. She just doesn't prefer to drive it. But look at the blade. I love the blade on that. That is not color coded to the car. It's nice and shiny. I like shiny things like a raccoon. <laughs> like a crow. Like raccoons aren't shiny, though. Yeah. Uh, you know, okay. So Tim, the to... sad thing is I was about to say the exact same line. <laughs> so. <laughs> so it's uh, enough time to get it. So uh, aside from Emola Yellow, it's not a very exciting car, uh, per se. Um, but I love it. I mean, I, I really do. You know what would be more exciting? No. An RS4? No. Mm. Yeah, 100%. A black it's way black black more black. unique. And yeah. And I heard, <laughs> I heard at the same time as the one my TT. It's down the 49.99 bill. Or it's it's going to it's going to be in my driveway by the end of it's, the It's it's in the right? beater class at this point <laughs> by the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I said, not not very exciting, but I like it. It's the color that got to me. Um, I'm actually looking for a B and a half, but uh, the, this color still gets me. And it's under 20 grand, and it's only 41,000 miles on it. Is it does it? seem very cheap for a B8, um, very affordable. Yes. And it's also out in California, just north of South, uh, San Francisco. <laughs> so uh, I don't feel like hopping on a plane right now um, to go get nah, it. Just, just, just buy it and throw it in a truck. No, nah, but the, I want I want to be able to the road trip. I, yeah, so yeah. so so rent like a like a Kia or something from Hertz before they go out of business. They'll probably give you a good deal, <laughs> and then you and then you can make a run on the Cannonball Run because it, I hear that record was everyone broken do again. it every, no. every other week. It's being broken. So there you go, Bill. That's There's not a bad point. idea, man. <laughs> you know, and by the time I make it uh, out to the coast, Hertz will be out of business, and you know I could just dump the car anywhere. Keep right? the Kia. Yeah, you won't, able, you won't be able to fly back because all the airlines will be done. Yeah, <laughs> no, I've got the S4 to drive back. So, um, <laughs> Mr. Acorn. Go the Kia with it. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. From my daily? I sell a Kia, that's right. Yeah. Dan and I were kind of cool. on the same page. Kind of. Uh, so let's throw this up there. Jesus, Josh. I thought you weren't watching anymore, Josh. <laughs> oh, no. What happened to that car? I, I, I was, a Liberty Walk. Tell I was me thinking. That's not Liberty Walk. It might be Liberty Walk. <laughs> <laughs> plus oh, oh it's plus terrible. bagged so i'm sure it would be fantastic as a it's, daily it's, oh yeah <laughs> it's, so it's a it's an a730t with only fifty one thousand miles and only 29.99 okay and, what's your uh, real submission motivated seller motivated yeah, seller <laughs> this is the final price drop i don't know what happens after the final price drop <laughs> but i'm on the edge of my seat because i want to know it gets burned, hopefully. <laughs> he knows what he has. What's <laughs> is that a? <laughs> What's funny? Go back. Go back one. That it, What's funny is that there is an actual arrow study going on here. Keep going. One more. Like it's cut out on the back side of the thing, like as though it's actually blown out of the back of it. Like there's real arrow <laughs> consideration <laughs> given for these tacked-on fender flips. I mean, it's oh, a yeah. walk, man. They're legit. I mean, I don't, I don't know if how it, it, the East Coast rust will work with those rivets, but <laughs> that's what that's well, why you have an airplane. Well, if you have an airplane hangar to store it, right? Uh, and, it looks like yeah, the the photo setting there is great. They did a good job with that. <laughs> got it's got aluminum pedals. Ooh. So, now, yeah. how much do you think it costs to remove the body panels and restore it to stock? $29,000. Well, if you want a stock one, Dan, you would just buy a stock S7 and save your money. 
But who wants stock? Not me. I want rat. <laughs> Look at those seats. And I'll oh. ask you guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's your air ride. And some weather tech represent right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a cheap trunk liner, yeah. I'll have you know. Where, where is this car located? San Diego. In, in, in San Diego. Huh. I would have gone with Jersey. Yeah. No. Come on. Come oh, on. Oh, no. 100%. It There's is probably ten of those cars in Jersey. It's kind of it's kind of SEMA like, right? Like it's I'm sure this I bet I've seen this kind of SEMA. If this were Jersey, it would have like a flaming chicken on the hood. You guys, right. it's uh, frozen vanilla vinyl wrap. Frozen vanilla, satin frozen, frozen vanilla vinyl satin wrap. Satin frozen vanilla vinyl. Oh, it does say that, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> I'm glad we got that cleared up. Because I want to point out, can I just clear. point out the, though, the, the vinyl white over white. I was going to say the imagination involved <laughs> <laughs> white vinyl to put over your white Ibis white car. And, and Ibis white is of course a beautiful color, so it's just it's silly in all accounts. <laughs> Too funny. But well, somewhat that is interesting. Yeah, so that's uh, that's my entry for the daily. You don't, you don't see those uh, hey, hey. Sale a lot. But George, in case you missed it in the ad, he is willing to trade you for a Bentley Continental or an Audi R8. Do you think by final drop he meant that the airbags aren't working? <laughs> no. drop. Dude, David, why, man? What, did Hurley? Hurley, he's sending me um, Mark IV R32s. You're distracting me. <laughs> this is Early. not a VW show, David. I know. <laughs> All right, are we ready to uh, to vote on this one? Let's this is gonna it. be tough. This is gonna be a tough one. S6 plus. Yeah. <laughs> All right, black or quattro, twenty valve conversion. We'll say that it's probably gonna stay under the price range. So, anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Again, that's sort of my like, um, you know, not real submission, but yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Right. Oh, right, right. Sorry. That's right. No, no, no. Okay. The S7 is my real submission. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the S7. All right. So next, S7. Who's yeah. I'll, vote, S7? I'll vote for myself. I'm going to vote for the S7. Oops. He just won. Oh. Sure. I guess we don't need to vote on our ass. <laughs> well, that saves time. All Sorry, right. Tim. I mean, that's I an S7 for, for 40. I, I was going to vote for you, Tim. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> No, the, I mean, S6, it, the S6 that, Plus is a huge. Oh, I forgot about product. the S6 Plus. Yeah, no. I, no. no I, I'm saying. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I forgot about the S6 Plus. Wait, are you are you are you changing your vote? Should we revote? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim, we'll revote. Hold on, let me share a screen. A little bendy for a daily. Okay, let's let's do it between the, oh, the S6 and the S7. A little bendy for a daily. You're talking to the guy who chose a Liberty Walk bagged. A7, so. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. No. <laughs> All right, so S7. Vote. Votes for S7. Wait, Bill wait, wait, and Dan. Dan and Bill. Bill, are you in for the S7 or no? Hang on, hang on. Let's, let's see the S6 again. <laughs> Anybody for the Liberty Walk? No. <laughs> You're all lame. No. All right. And it, can, can you ask, can you yell out to Pam to see what she votes for the yellow S4? No. No. <laughs> Negative goes right. Pro white. Right. No, pro white, no care. No, right hand drive. All right, S6 okay. plus. I'm in. All right, well, that's S6 plus gets it. No, wait, I haven't voted yet. It doesn't matter. You? Three of us voted S6 plus. <laughs> oh, it's son of a. <laughs> it's, it's, All right. It's the Electoral College, Bill. Once the elect you get enough points, it's over. Yeah. Right? I feel underrepresented. No, I, I think we need to abolish it. Let's not turn this into a political talk show. <laughs> Did we pull well, the audience? political? I didn't know what you're talking about. Dude, we're on Facebook. There's nowhere this goes well. If you start talking about this. <laughs> abort. <laughs> abort. Abort. Click, click. Turn off the recording. Thanks, okay. governors. All right. I was okay, talking about so, mechanical governors, not politicians. Not. So Tim came from behind. Hey. Like, we had to do a photo finish. Uh, and when we looked at the, uh, at the final results, he just edged out. It's good. Nice see, job, Tim. 16 appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> so Tim wins this round. We are going to our third round, which is our Halo slash Dream Car. There's no price restriction on this one here. Uh, and Mr. Compton, you are up. All right. Okay. One car. All right. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more than out. One. We're, We're only at an hour. 
You guys were two, over two hours last week. We had to cut time. Because somebody was showing 14 curves. The number one complaint from a, a viewer called Ryan Compton was that we went too long. So, <laughs> sorry. That guy, Ryan, who's our viewer, told us we can't go longer. <laughs> you were, you were going to you were gonna get an Ultima GTR, but I'm just going to stick with $435,000. I give you extra points for the green. I take them back for the stickers. That's yes, me the too. Color, yeah. Yeah. Well, the green, yeah, what is it, like 58 of them or something? And I'm not even going to bother to try and say the word. <laughs> I know zero German. But Can you zoom? Now, is, is this the car that was uh, like a barn fine resto? This, no? uh, hold on. Let me get, let me get, let George take his photo. You good there? Your screenshot? Yep. Okay. Um, what's amazing is that on mobile... Was it Mobile DE? Yeah, there's one dude. Do we know this name? He has five. Yes. Yeah. Four quattros for sale. Born, I'm not going to prime. Ah. It, it's like Bornyan Classics. Born, I'm not, I'm, 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 yeah, Classics yeah. is his company, and he's got really he's great. Wild. Yeah, we we featured I think a couple of his cars, not not just four quattros, but as our it's, find of the days. This one was owned by the factory. Rolled, roar, oh God, never mind. It, it was used as a recce vehicle. Roll. It was used as a recce vehicle. It has had three owners. Uh, it is steel motor though. No restoration. Steel work. motor? It's not an aluminum block? It has steel yeah. engines. Well, they're iron. They're usually iron block. No, no, on the sport, head. sport Quattro is aluminum block. Oh, yeah. really? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Hmm. This is number 89. Here you go. 15 pieces in that color. 15 so. pieces? Feces? What? Yeah, I think they the built green fifth, the 15 color. green ones. 15. No, the, ra 15. the rarest The rarest is black. Does anybody black. know who owned the two black ones? Uh, one of them was some kind of Sultan, wasn't he? No, it said the company. They were both owned inside the company. The black one. Oh, really? The, yep. the one black one was Walter Rolls. The other black one was Ferdinand PX. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say Walter Roll must have had oh, one of them. Yeah. Of the cars that you actually could have bought, green was the rarest color. That's right. <laughs> Fifteen of them. Right? So, but that's a, it's a it's a three B modified. No, or is it a seven A? Maybe it's a seven A. I don't know what the code is, but it it's was crazy aluminum that they had aluminum blocks because you know the whole benefit to the motor is that it's an iron block. So you get so much. That's why you get so much horsepower out of the damn thing. But uh, that's crazy. Very cool. I'm going with this one because it's unrestored. I think I love it. I love everything except for the stickers on the door. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You can probably so. take them off, right? I don't know. So Unless, okay, like, Walter put them on, then yeah. he's probably like right, exactly. Yeah. And, they're, all the, and they're signed. All the Earth Quattro guys are like, oh my god, there goes there goes the on. grand off the value. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, all right, Ryan. So um, since you have pointed out that we've only been on for an hour and we're pretty much almost done, let's see the Ultima. Come on. <laughs> You know, that Come not, on. I, I will say you already closed it and it's sold already Bill. do you not know the power of this show <laughs> like, it's uh it's pretty pretty hideous <laughs> but it's so like, what's uh, what's in it a four two yep uh by turbo so a two seven t or a four two by turbo or two no idea so that would be the r s six engine or the what the g t r did because I knew I wasn't gonna Pick it. I didn't throw it. I didn't just says Audi bi turbo with 555 horsepower. There's, which there's could, no indication of year. There's no photo of the engine, so it's hard to know. Yeah, go back, go to that third, fourth Fair photo. Home. There should be an in, engine okay. shot. Is the, the, in, the engine covers up on the uh, fourth photo over? Yeah, that's not much help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, and we thought engine covers from Volkswagen <laughs> Group were bad. That's, there you go. It's, well, it, that it, is kind of it, it could be a uh, a built out uh, two seven for sure, making that power, no problem. So yeah, that front end is like V eight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have to Isn't go. It, it's an interesting one. All right. There's oh, your... there you go. Is that the same car? So you get the, the exhaust piping. Go back to the other ex the exhaust piping photo. Oh no, this is a that's a Different? that's an got LS it. or something. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, no, just this unhelpful shot. Oh, God, I can't understand anything in there. There's a catch can <laughs> and an aerator. Uh, yeah, nothing useful. I, I bet it's a 2.7. I bet it's a built 2.7. Yeah, and the power probably is. Yeah. Does it say how much power it has? 
550. 550. 550. Okay. Yeah, I bet it's a build too. You'd think it'd have to be on the. Yeah, you'd think displacement <laughs> or something would be on there. I see nothing useful. <laughs> Let's just go with two seven. It's cooler that way. Hold on. Do I have? Where is that car located? That's. Can you hear this? Yes. yes. Oh, it's in Denmark. Got it. Here we go. Ah, that was a stupid music, though. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm giving you the screen back. Yeah, like I was conducting it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, now I can't remember what what, what was your actual car. <laughs> Is the uh, green? Oh, the green. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ghost. Yeah. Come on, come on, George. Say it for us. What's the What's the green color? I have no idea. I should know, but I don't. It's green. Two Bennett's building a long wheelbase car in that color right now. Oh, nice. With their With their sport quattro body kit. Now they'll only be asking a million dollars for it. Uh, No, I think it's customer car. I mean, I don't know whether he's paying to have it done, but it was supposed to be at Monterey this year, I think. But uh, we'll see what happens next year. All right, Tim, you are up. Okay. Let's see your dream Halo car. Might so I, like, I'm going to preface this again. If I won the lottery tomorrow, the car that I would go buy in this category is that R8 LMP 900 that we ran as find of the day a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Uh, because I couldn't not. I, I it would be physically impossible for me to pass on that car. Um, <laughs> that said, since we already ran that as find of the day, I went in a different direction. And what you are about to see is a 1937 Porsche 853 Coupe. Mm. Not just any 1937. Manuela. Uh-oh. Who, who drove this one? George, it is an exact replica of Manuela. Um, so in the 30s, uh, Bernd Rosemeyer was a race driver for Auto Union. He famously set uh, a speed record on the Autobahn, uh, 268 miles an hour, I think. Um, after which, you know, and won more races than everybody and their brother. Uh, and as part of his reward for that, uh, the factory built him a very special uh, 853 coupe. Uh, the wheelbase on his car was actually, I think, 11 inches shorter than standard. Um, yeah, they were doing the short wheelbase on like a cabriolet. And, yep. then they, he and they put the hard top on it from the, from the cabbie. Um, and they built him this special car. He named it Manuela. And uh, apparently really, uh, it was a, a favorite car of his. And uh, after his death, the car uh, disappeared uh, at some point during the war. And nobody knows what happened to it. Um, so there, so is, it, there is or was a company in Germany called Horsch Classic. And they specialize in horseshoe restorations, and they built this car uh, from pictures of his car and, I guess, some factory build sheets or something that they found. And it is uh, as close to a perfect replica of Manuela as uh, we're ever going to get, basically. And wow. I think it's just like the gauges, the whole, it's beautiful. Um, there's a shot in here somewhere of the luggage that it comes with, wow. which is, you know, like, it's just classic. And the, the, the rear opening doors, uh, which are, you know, very period. <laughs> Wait, what are all those handles on the door? Su- suicide doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two separate panes. Turn, the, good Lord. turn the, front, the, the triangle glass sideways. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Look at that. And some fancy <laughs> stuff there. Yeah. Uh, yep. But I, I just think, you know, cars from that era are gorgeous and everybody is all about the Bugattis and all that stuff. But I think for my money, and they actually got, when they rebuilt this, they found original, like proper headlamp lenses. And uh, they really, really went, there's a, an entire wall of text to describing the car where it's for sale. Uh, I love the way that spare tire is sort of set back into the into the trunk. Uh, yeah, that's, I always love that. Yep. So, so go forward one, what is that? Oh, okay, all right. It's that rear hatch. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Look at the, they've got like hydraulic struts for it. Oh, pretty. Jesus. You know, well, <laughs> oh. But big old beautiful engine. And I just think it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful, graceful car. And that would be my pick in the uh, money is no object category. That's amazing. So what are they asking for? Yeah, what, speaking of which. Uh, 537, I think. Yep. So, yeah. I'm sure they have more into it. Yeah. <laughs> 575. <laughs> 
Well, they, you I know, that was that's... a two hundred thousand dollar car that they made into a five hundred thousand dollar car by throwing dollars <laughs> yeah. at. It and it only cost a million bucks to do it. Ryan knows that very well. He knows that <laughs> method very well. That's that's awesome. So that's my uh, no skills. That, that was nice. nice so, uh, uh, real quick, that car was in Hershey last October. Was it really? Hyman that's usually cool. comes with multiple cars, and. Uh, we ended up, uh, I'm not going to give you crap for not reading the magazine that closely, but we actually did a feature on this car. And it it was for I, sale back then, too. I totally knew that. <laughs> and um, so. Thanks, Mr. Me. Contributor. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> uh, Tim. And then. Uh, well, I read my own contract. I mean. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's uh, Burned with the car. There His roof line was lower. That roof line is a little higher, and I don't know why that is. If it's just they want it to be more drivable and have more space, and then they did they did end up finding the car, and there it is. It. Uh, oh, they did. Oh, that's that's fantastic. Yeah, I think they built. I forget how many they built. A couple of them, not many for really rich German dudes. Uh, I think this. The, well, of the short wheelbase or the eight fifty three in total, because they built a fair number of eight fifty threes. Of the Roadster was a shorter wheelbase, and so they they used yeah. and they found that chassis in it's one of the cars that had been taken back to russia after world war ii okay so and then it was like rotting in a field and they were able to to save the chassis so they put it on a real chassis it's a real motor that was in the original cabriolet yep um and then totally restored it and then did all the coach work on it and and that company is out of business by the way now I, I don't yeah know i know it was kind of a shame because i went looking for them because it that, that's really neat stuff but I, I it looked like they were gone so my god <laughs> And I think it actually, it's, it's tough because his was silver because silver. Um, but I think it looks really elegant in black too. Yeah, ag agreed. Gangster black, you have to do it that way. But I mean, how, how baller is that in the 30s? Like you're, you're, you know, factory driver for one of the top teams and then you go ahead and have a custom coach built car made by the factory. Actually, it was Urban and Rossi, I think, who did the body work for it. But like, mm -hmm. um, they were doing some other, what's that? It was. Yeah, and they were doing other designs for for work too. But it's, I think Manuela is named after his wife, which was Ellie Beinhorn. She was a um, aviatrix at the time, yep. kind of there. And also a Amelia driver. Earhart. She she actually drove. Uh, yes. They let her drive once. The she wasn't a race car driver, but she drove one of the B sixteen Audi units just around the track one time. She was out of the race with them, and they're like, "Yeah, let Ellie take it out." And um, she's she's a pretty remarkable person. There's a she wrote a biography on Rose Meyer that's kind of like about their life. All, most of it is about their life together. So we're checking out a couple of Rosemary or something like that. Very, very cool story. Yeah. Yep. Cool neat. story, bro. Very neat, Tim. Yes. Thank you. Great. So, Mr. Gray. Uh, so, so my uh, money's no option car, uh, you know, I found an Avant that I would definitely buy in a heartbeat um, and in port. It is in Portugal. So if you want to click on the link um, for the 2019 RS4 Avant, Yep. Um, Hang on. Let me get. Let me cue it up before I uh, share the screen. So you know, maybe a little bendy here. Although if money money's no option, you know, you can import this thing. Probably take you six months. Probably cost you thirty grand. But uh, who Ooh. cares, right? Um, so this is uh, not only an RS4 Avant, uh, but it is an ABT one of fifty uh, Avants special edition. Um, you can cycle through. It's all kitted out, ceramic brakes, um, you know, custom stitch, stitch interior, all, you know. Well, can you zoom got, in? It's got all the shots. proper uh, carbon fiber bits added. Um, it's beautiful. Um, and definitely unobtaining, uh, unobtaining them anywhere in the United States for a very long time. So You're, you're making a, many people angry right now. You have a, <laughs> you have a very unique car for, for a very long time. Um, so I know this is more of a Jamie or question, but uh, do are all the underlying bits already in market such that it can actually be homologated? It's a good question. Um, I bet you could. Uh, it would probably cost you more yeah. than it would cost you to buy this car, I would bet. Sure. But, um, you know, I've done similar stupid things like that. So um, <laughs> you, you could buy all the parts and put them in a B9 yeah. all road. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. 
and but yeah, no, a beautiful you know, car. I, and you know, I, I found it from this. You know, this, this it's, it's, if you look at the website, it's a Portuguese, um, deep classic car uh, website. That I've actually found some really nice uh, <laughs> RS2 uh, Avants. Um, as I've had my uh, for them over the past few years. Uh, I did have this another site, one. This site will also yeah. often have some really cool low mile, like rare spec cars. Um, and they're usually left hand drive oh. um, as well. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyways, that was my top choice. A um, <clears throat> couple of the things I came across just because I wasn't quite sure how the rules were going to pan out for this category. Uh, obviously, a spiker, you know, with the, with the Audi V8. Um, uh, you know, ironically, it's the same V8 that's in the S4, but what they, for whatever reason, when Audi provided the, the motor to Spiker for this car, they fixed the chain problems. Now, why <laughs> they did it for, for this car and not for their mass produ production cars uh, is, a, is a question for the ages, um, but they fixed the chain problems. They have, they have upgraded guides and tensioners, and uh, so these motors don't have the same problems that the S4 does and they actually produce about 60 more horsepower as well. So um, which one are we entering? Because i got to do a screen grab. I, I, I'd love to enter the Avant. That's my, that's my first choice. Okay. Uh, it's up to you guys if it makes the rules. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I dig the Spica though, man. They're works of art. That, that they are works of art. art. They're, yeah, they're beautiful cars. If they you ever see one in person. The shift linkage. Is, oh, I got the photos. Shift linkage is amazing. You already got this one? Yeah. Okay. The, the the stitching the, it's all i mean they're, they're the handmade cars um and, and they're really they truly are just amazing um not the fastest things in the world but they're just they're the works of art on wheels this, this is where i wanted to go the first time i saw one was out in monterey uh and when i saw the interior of the car <laughs> it is my favorite shit Wait, it's ever. absolute artwork yeah it's unfortunately that's a, the guy's that's a bad a, scientist are you talking about bill when you saw the monterey you talked about one of the ones we saw it uh, yep and so it was kind of a, the way that the dash is, that, is, is hand, uh, you know, yeah. uh, polished, to, to, you know, for all the little ringlets and, and the aluminum is just beautiful. Uh, it, it's all just pure art. Yeah. But look at that shifter. I mean, that's just. Yep. And that it's actually mechanically linked. I mean, it's, it's, that's real deal yeah. right there. Yep. But not just for show. No, yes. Yeah, so, so, so look, I mean, it's a beautiful car. Obviously money's no <clears> object. <throat> that's a better car. Um, but you know, if you're, if we're looking for a pure Audi, um, you know, this has the Audi, Audi motor, but if we're looking at a pure Audi, um, you know, the Avant's obviously a, a great choice. So, okay, so I, I will say that um, I actually chose this car. <laughs> right, yeah, you, then, you chose this then, car as well, so you can. You can so, so when Dan sent it out, he had to quickly find another one. So, which one are you entering? Since he didn't enter this one, yeah, you know, I'm not entering this one though. I, I found something better, and in the states. Oh. Okay, not that one. That was uh, wait. One that one was already ones. presented too. But yeah, no, no, that that stands. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> He's working on it. He's got to share a different screen. Can you all see this? No, you're still on the S7. Still, still oh. looking at the S7. Son of a bitch! Hang on. A you got to change. <laughs> yeah, you got to change which screen you're sharing. Hang on a second. Here we go. Come on, Bill. <laughs> this is a it, it, in the states, okay? Yeah, but it's a 2019 Bugatti Chiron, I believe it's how how you pronounce how, it. How is that out of That's a really expensive Rome. Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. You know, I had to find this really quickly, okay? In the five minutes that we did send back? this to me. Do you want to go back to the Spiker Bill? Because no, 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 no. I'm going to stick with this Spiker. one. I'm sticking with this one here. Yeah. It is just so, so body, so in I, your face. Mm -hmm. I have never liked those as as much. I I, I, I don't know. They, they're the exterior of them is just too too much. So what what you're trying to say is I'm losing this round also, right? <laughs> well, it, it's not an Audi. It's, it's not a an Bugatti. Audi. It's not an Audi engine. <laughs> it's a Bugatti. I don't care. All right, what fine. is it? It's uh, it, it's it's two. Uh, W12s or, yeah. or no? It's 16, it's right? 16 so, cylinder. W12. Right, hang on a second. <laughs> it's like two V8s. I don't know. No, but it's there's it's something weird too. It's like it VR is something weird. weird. Effectively, it's I think what it is. It's a VR6, and then they chop two, and then they put two of those together. It's something weird like that. Yeah. Two, d two W8s. Maybe. W8s. I think it's yeah. two W8s uh, out of the Toreg or something, isn't it? W8 Basically? was Passat. Hang okay. on. Hang on. 
and then they put four turbochargers on it. Yeah. Right, exactly. Because like that's a, what you do. <laughs> it was like a PX deal where he was like, I don't care, yeah. make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I, I wanted to go 210 miles an hour, and now 220, and now 240. <laughs> right. Okay, so and, and, and replace fifty thousand dollars <laughs> worth of tires every, uh, you know, every time you go over 200 or whatever it is. There's some weird, okay. bizarre rule. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, screw so you guys. I'm going to show you. And you know what? I'm in control right now, so I'm going to show you. No, <laughs> I'm going to show you what my under 50 would have been. Wait, I still need to see your. Your, no, no. What are you picking? What are you picking? What, are you going to DQ? Because. Well, no, apparently y'all DQ'd me. No, well, sure. why, don't, why don't you we run? You, why don't you, run the you have the spiker. Yeah, you should you have the spiker. spiker. I'm running the Avant. Yeah. All right, I'll go with the spiker. He's a spiker. I yeah. need a picture of it, though, so you got to go back to it. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> that has a really cool. That S2 coupe yeah. looked pretty nice, though. <laughs> that was going to be my, um, my backup. Um, under 50,000, 50, yeah. It's a, it a lot was of people bringing those in right now. Yeah, I saw an S2 in there as well in my list. Okay. Share the screen. Here, Here's my my pick. Ooh. <laughs> yep. But it is a gorgeous car. I, I give it that. Yeah. Okay. Anybody have any idea how many of those things there are here? I'm amazed I wouldn't even they know federalized. What I, guess. I would I would assume under 300, but I'm not sure. It can't be many. Yeah. I saw a couple at Amelia a few years ago. I mean, they're they're here, but Oh yeah. I remember the deal on spikers where they're like, "We don't want to be your first supercar. We want to be like your eighth supercar." Right? Like <laughs> when you've got a collection, that's when you go for the spike. Right. We want we want to be a part of that 100 car yeah. collection. Yeah. When you want to <laughs> buy a car solely because of the shift linkage. That's right. We're the one for you. <laughs> there was one at wasn't there one in Monterey last year at Cannery Row or no two years ago in Cannery Row that was like it was it was cool, yellow and yet it had like tragic wheels on it and but was it that oh, yellow no. one? The wheels are like one of the marquees in the car because they're designed to look like a propeller. Propellers. Yeah, I don't think the yeah. owner of the car had, I mean you know, like the LA or West Coast car like exotic car kind of car parazzi scene. Like you gotta put yeah. wheels on that, but <laughs> Yeah, that's just tragic. Yeah. There's a car for when you're tired of buying airplanes. All right. You ready for uh, the next one? Go for it, George. Hailing from Poland and uh, oh, play, playing to the base again, playing to the panel again. I'm going to go for uh, Ryan's. I know what car this is. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Oh, okay. what is this? This is not the car I thought. You oh were my god! <laughs> oh god, it's horrible. George, what? What is wrong with you tonight? This is, <laughs> they, they really shook you up. <laughs> All right, now look at this. All right, what do we got? All right, it is Hohenester tune, carbon body kit. Custom oh, Bilstein <laughs> suspension from Hohenester. Do, you, do we all know who Hohenester is? One eight in it. For, for all the money in the world, you want a one eight. Do we all know who Hohenester is? You know what? No, we don't. Okay, so yeah. these are the guys who were making, like, back in the day, were making RS2s faster than F40s. Um, yeah. Andre Lauder's Sport Quattro, Hohen Ester tuned. Mm. Uh, anyway, so 1AT with... What, 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 can someone do the numbers for me? I hope not. I, 485 <laughs> newton meters. meters. It's yeah. got a... And it's only thirty five to forty five thousand euros, which means it's a relative bargain. <laughs> if and, you want a really ugly TT hook line car. <laughs> and Ryan, so you're not into Mark One TT race cars, is that what you're saying? Yeah, right. Not so much yeah. a thing. <laughs> you know what? That arrow is way less extreme than mine. <laughs> I think if it didn't it's have three hundred and thirty foot pounds of torque. If, if it didn't have the That's grill. You'd yeah, they're real hideous. That's really the problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> all, all the comments are, yeah. Sorry, you you've the, lost the, it. Man. All the <laughs> comments. The car's poor. All the comments. Looking. It's like Josh and Ray. That's <laughs> all the still, comments. They are all it the is, comments. No, I'll give you. It is all the comments. But you say it like it's a lot of people. It's Josh and Ray. Three thirty out of a one eight is respectable. That's that's real. No, it depends how they got there. <laughs> Plus, I mean, look at this guy's oh. collection. Did you see the cars behind it? Yeah, you, you, you got to take one of the, uh, you know, it's not, a, it's not an S1. It's like a 
Coup Quattro rally, like, replica type thing? <laughs> yes, I, I agree with I, you, Ray. Cy you Gray, take one of those over that car. Cy Gray had a very good reason to disagree with everybody, all the other comments and say <laughs> that it was a great choice. <laughs> no, he just said is, uh, he's taking your side just to be different. He didn't say it was a great choice. <laughs> <laughs> There, there. You know what? It's in white because it's waiting for vinyl. Clearly, because uh, it's a real race car. It, it. Well, that good front, the front grill is just tragic. Tragic. Yeah, like, that's the part I don't get. Like the red, the arrow. You know, all the rest of it. Like you can make a function argument for all that stuff, but yeah. I mean, well, unless the, that entire front grill is an intake for the the arrow, yeah. like. The there was a you wouldn't want it you wouldn't want it with the extractor there you just need like a little envelope yeah. there was a period yeah. where like right after audi went to the single frame on oh, like the I eight know. that all these people were making like single frame grills for the mark one tt and at the Honor moment and, it was kind of like the 993 in porsche world right it was like oh my gosh that's mind-blowing and then like a year later you're like oh my god why did i do this to the car yeah and <laughs> it, it looks great with a stock grill like that car with a stock grill i think would be relatively badass you could fix it. This car can be fixed, you guys. <laughs> Except, I, George, I heard George, Walter do, you have, do you have a straight on shot for this car? I heard Walter Rural put that grill on that car, so it would be worth half as much. Oh, you want to see it? Uh, is there a straight on shot of this car so we can see the grill? The glory that is the grill? Yeah, hold on a second. Here. Share again. It's just going to be worse. It's, you're not going to be happy about it. I, I'm not happy about it right now. So. <laughs> I mean, it's a Mark 1 TT. No look fence. At this. That's a heck of a duck tail oh. right there. Uh, but that's all, that's, that's all style. That's not aero. That's a good this is a show, yeah, I think this is a, <laughs> a show decent car. Cage, decent cage build. I mean, oh. it's like a 1A. Yes. You, you, bring, you bring that thing to water best, it's going to get a ton of attention. Uh, it is. It, it is. Win. Bucks and run it lemons. <laughs> Plus, it's got <laughs> ventilation, which yeah, is important. Yeah, that is questionable as hell of a snorkel. Uh... Yeah, so what, you, well, well, you could do things with it. Just get rid of the front and rear bumpers. <laughs> so what off. you're saying is, I totally won. <laughs> to totally. Let me let me share something really quick. This is what I thought when you led with going with the crowd and uh, Poland. I thought you were going to go with this. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I've seen that one too. Is that a real DTM car? I keep wondering. Like I no, see it. Uh, it or is was, it just a livery on a V8? No, it's 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 a period correct car. It did not run in DTM. They took the cars and ran it in the Polish version of it called the Pro, or sorry, the Belgian Pro Car Championship. This car ended up in Poland, but it was it was actually run in a professional Belgian uh, uh, production car series. Yeah, I've, I've seen this car. It's a lovely car. Very cool. I actually looked for a V8 uh, for the for the you know beater class. Um, usually, there's one kicking around for two grand, but I couldn't find one right now. <laughs> Love those things. They're, they're bizarre. Oh, bizarre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the spiker that we saw at Monterey back in 2018. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, that car was. <laughs> this is, look at the, it looks like a yacht. <laughs> it's too real. That, that's, that's, that's extra. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you have an exterior shot of this thing with the wheels? Uh, yeah, hang on a second. Uh, I do. I just didn't. I hey, didn't Tim, what up. was your entry in the unlimited class? Manuela. Oh, right. Okay. The horse uh, 853. Yeah, I forgot to get a screen grab, but I have shots of it. Everyone's asking how much did you drink, George? I am having. I, know this. I did sneak away and get a shock top. So, and um, Josh said this is the web browser stuff you want a friend to delete before your family sees it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this biker definitely is. That, those wheels are terrible. They ruined. Oh, they murdered. Yeah, they ruined awful. it for so many reasons. But those that wheels, is a travesty. Wow. Travesty. So this was the first biker I ever saw. Um, um, it, uh, live, uh, and I was I was horrified. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, that is awful. Okay, so now we have to go vote time and vote. And uh, George, I, I hope you've been keeping tally on who won each round. I did, I have been actually. Thank you very much. So we are going now with our winner of round three. I do need a production assistant. Can we put that in the budget? <laughs> I'm going to have to share again to multiple screens. So uh, let's go first to um, Manuela. 
and we're not going to come back to her. Does anybody vote for Manuela, or do we want to go through all the cards before we vote? Let's go through all the cards. I want to see all. Okay. <clears throat> then the, the next uh, one is Sport Quattro, RS4, best TT ever, <laughs> and uh, Spiker. This is this is a tough one between two cars for me. Mm. Uh, RS4, so we, I can't. I mean, it, we're talking about bending the rules a little bit here. Um, of course. So we have to go with uh, me. It's between the Sport Quattro and Manuela. Is anybody going to choose something other than Sport Quattro or Manuela? I, okay. I'm, I'm Sport Quattro all the way. All right. So votes for Sport Quattro. Let's see him. Yep. Here. Manuela? Here. Oh. oh Tim. Tim. Hey. Two out of three. Tim, I think, yeah, Tim wins uh, this week's version of Finally Today. Thank you, gentlemen. If we want to see you, uh, yeah, I guess. So it's S6 plus versus green A4 versus Manuela. Do so we want to choose an overall winner? Oh, well, that's kind of uh, – because you have, you have a – a beater. <laughs> you have a beater up against uh, it, uh, it's two. Like car. It's like a little engine that could. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just saying this is goes this just goes to Tim. Um, who would in okay. that mix? Who votes for Manuela? I, I think I would actually go with Manuela. All right, Manuela just won. Wait, who, who else voted for Manuela? Ryan. Ryan. Oh. Okay. Wait, what was the second one? S6, yeah, six plus. You know, S6 I'm plus. Torn. I'm torn on that one, but I, I'm going to go with Manuela just because I think it'll look better on the uh, the cover photo for the post. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, they're, they're not making any more of those. So, I mean, they're not making any more S6 pluses either. Yeah, I was just about to say, man. <laughs> I, I would have I gone with um, the S6 plus. Uh, that would have been my overall choice between those two. Manuela is beautiful, but she's a reproduction. Well, yeah. I mean, it's a reproduction insofar as the, the the chop for the wheelbase and all that stuff. It is actually, like, it was all built from original horse parts. She's a reproduction. <laughs> <laughs> George, what were you going to vote for? Uh, the golf livery out of 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't can no longer fine. I go, I'll go Manuela. So that's three for Manuela. So Manuela wins. And yes, yeah, she'll look better on the cover, right? Yeah. So, all right, pull up, pull Manuela. Although back honestly, up. honestly, if a car is to be sold, uh, off from this, yes, other than the one. Uh, that green B five, the green by <laughs> the green B five, I think is. Uh, let's see. Here. I mean, apparently, we already did sell one of the cars, but <laughs> yeah. Amy Audi. <laughs> Amy Orr went and bought it. Are we still sharing? <laughs> Yes, I'm seeing Manuela, and he's already driven into the North Pole. <laughs> I love you, Jamie. I'm just teasing. Cool. Is that it, George? I think that's a wrap. No, unless gosh. unless Ryan has some other entries that he was going to share. I, you 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 joke. <laughs> well, this the, is that laugh. <laughs> the, the danger of that is. <laughs> For you guys who aren't recurring people on this show, like yeah, there are those wiping of us, out other people's choices. Yeah, yeah, it, it gets harder and harder. Oh. Oh, no, not for you, George. Seriously, I have a folder that's full of love. You have a folder <laughs> that's you have like yeah. Whatever. Can I can I show you what my beater class was going to be? Sure, Should we go, go out on that. Go for it. We'll go out on that. I, I gotta find it quickly. So. Yes, out of the many folders that he has on his desk. Memory of that TT. <laughs> yeah, George, your your, your choices is there after that TT, please. Yeah, your choices this week, George, were were surprising. Um, Good very surprising. I have to say. I'd say your your best your best pick this week was the the beater two thousand dollar nineteen ninety nine A four Avant. I'd say that you was, won. You actually won that round with that. That was Who honestly was? his real choice. That was. 
Speaking of lemon scars. So had I not thrown that out, I probably would have lost that class. So I'll have you know, but here's what I was thinking about sharing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a DKW. Uh, that's a hell of a pit bike. It is, right? is it? Is, <laughs> okay. That legitimately might have gotten my vote, actually. Oh, wow. wait. <laughs> it's an automatic transmission, no stick, no care. So. <laughs> So it was made. It was made under license, though. So I was worried that it would not qualify. Mm. By Zwerald Union in Nuremberg, which is near Ingolstadt. That's really cool. Yeah, and it's only twelve hundred bucks. I kind of want one just to like go around my neighborhood. On. You want me to send you the link? <laughs> no, no, no. I no, almost no. put up Def one of the DK. Definitely down send me the <laughs> I think it's got pedals too, so it qualifies yeah. as a moped. See the pedals? Or is that, there's just foot. No, that it looks is like baby a foot oh, pedal. It's a moped. Those are pedals, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so take that, so is that What is that, house. solar orange or? <laughs> I think it's glute. Glute. Papaya. Glute. <laughs> Papaya. By the way, I just went down like a rabbit hole on the internet looking at old uh, Porsche uh, cars. My God. They, they made some beautiful, beautiful. They made food. gorgeous, gorgeous automobiles. <laughs> I feel like they're very, you know, like, you know, you don't really hear much about them anymore at all. Yep. Um, oh, hey, George, you'll know this. No, was, you, was August Horst Bavarian? I shouldn't know that, shouldn't I? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's it's either like Horst, you know, like with the Bavarian Hork. hick pronunciation. Or I think it's Hork. Hork. Well, I thought that too. And then I saw some Audi PR videos where they pronounced it the other way. So I Maybe sure. so. But yeah, so his, his Hork means Hark in... German. Mm -hmm. So when he sold the company and then he wanted to start another company, Audi is Latin, poor Hark, or well, listen. Didn't, didn't his own board boot him? Maybe. Okay, are we going down an Audi nerd hole? Just, just, yeah, because just the, the Audi thing was basically <laughs> him like so flipping the all of this was Ben, Bill. Him out of the <laughs> no, ultra. Ultra. Is that as in like light ultra or is that as in like pre S line ultra? Well, like, okay, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I left that one hanging. <laughs> if anybody ever comes across one of these for sale, by the way. <laughs> R18. That's uh, nothing post R8, I don't think, was sold. I mean, the problem with those cars, uh, R10s, two R10s were sold to Colas, and one Are R15 they? Plus was sold to Dave Mirage. I mean, Colas okay. not. <laughs> yeah, but the 15 Plus probably was not a non runner. Uh, it was one of the Sebring cars, and I, I don't know. After Dave passed away, it ended up out of Can Canapa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Most and, um, but I, I suppose what you were about oh, to say, we just lost Dan. you need an entire <laughs> staff to start the car. And, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a paperweight. You need a, you need a briefcase, right? Yeah. If there's a briefcase that comes from Ingolstadt. All, all of the diesels, so like the 908s of that era too, they're paperweights. Unless you have a team of engineers from the factory to run them for you, you can. Yeah. No, unlike the, right. the R8 LMPs are like totally doable in comparison. <laughs> and I think like, I, I think I just saw Kettler, somebody posted photos. Right now. He's working on somebody's like champion livery car at the moment and restoring it. But Kettler's got all the body molds and he goes to Michelin and has the tires made every couple seasons or whatever. Um, so like R8 LMP ones, like there are rich dudes who are running those in like classic racing, but all the diesel era stuff can't be run. Yep. That's a shame. No. That's because, uh, especially when Ryan was shooting us, uh, those 908s, he was fine. <laughs> I did find a, um, a chan uh, a silver livery. So one of the old factory cars, R8 LMP one thought about showing it might be in my folder for a future week. I don't know. You found one that isn't the yellow car. Remember? It's a, it, it's. It might be yellow uh, coloring on it, but it's silver livery, like a factory. Yeah, silver with the yellow accents. That one's, you've already found it the day, that one. Oh, yeah, then I guess I can't use it. <laughs> but here's the thing with well, the yellow cars anyway. The reason I did, because I, I wrote that find for you guys, and that's, uh, that's nice. why I didn't run it. Back tonight. at you, Manuela. But like, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so we, we're even. Well, but, uh, but here's the thing, yellow, in case you were curious, here's another little known fact. The red cars are always faster. They have a better history of winning, and the yellow cars are bad luck. They tend to crash. Mm -hmm. ah, like bananas. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> it's Mario Kart. Yeah. Which is interesting, though, right? Because Bila, remember back in the day with, like, the touring cars? Bila, when he was running BTCC, was running the yellow mirrors. And, like, every Audi nerd under the 
like who had a B5 S4 was putting yellow mirrors on their B5s because oh, wow. of Bila. That's oh. why Phil Ackley has yellow mirrors on his R S4, by the oh, way. I did not I did not know that. Now you know you can impress him with your, your nerd knowledge at the That's next, you can use, next right? time he brings that car out. You could be like, whoa, dude, nice Bila mirrors. <laughs> but it makes your car slower or more prone to wreck. More prone to wreck. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. Are we going to wrap it up? Congratulations, Tim. You won two out of three rounds. I don't think Thank anybody's done that yet. No, we, we've only done two episodes though. But yeah, and we didn't have any. Okay, I mean, we didn't have any classes last time, so no, we did. So. We were quite. We were quite classless last time. So, <laughs> without like, class. like a school in summer or yeah. school right now, I should say, no class. Oh, okay. Too soon. I'm sorry. Too soon. All right. Um. Okay. So Tim won. Uh, we are. Wow, we only had an hour and 45 minutes. That's not bad for us. We beat it by like 15 minutes. Yes, we did. Thanks. So next time, do we do like a hard stop on people bringing alternates? Because it seemed like we threw that rule out there and everybody's like, who the hell cares about that? It's, some of us brought three cars. I know. Some of yeah, us but, all right. If you just do that, though, it's going to be a 45-minute show. <laughs> Which, <laughs> I mean, that's the object. In case it's not obvious, <laughs> dude, we can bullshit our way through an hour. No, no question. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I think it's fun. I think it's, you know, you get to see where people's heads are at and what, what else they're thinking about, you know, it's good. Yeah. I think, I think we also, um, yeah, we, like I said, it's only the second time. Um, so let's, well, first of all, I'm going to sign off from the live stream because yes. I think people yeah, who are, there's seven still people sleeping. who are still dedicated to listening, but 